We're going to do a ranking of the top five. Well, the way Kubiak phrased it, my favorite five college football plays since the year 2000. That's the way it was phrased. Okay. Not top plays, not best plays, not most impactful plays. My top five favorite plays from the last 22 seasons. Are you good with that? Because that's the way Kubiak explained it. So I am. This is well, such a I'm great telling disclaimer. you that's Go the ahead. way it All was right, explained. Let him, let him have it. So you can get mad at him if there's a play on here that gets excluded. I was allowed to show favoritism. So therefore, I'm going to show favoritism. Here's some honorable mentions for the top five plays. They didn't quite make the list, but they're on there somewhere. The Bush push. Of course, Reggie Bush pushing Matt Leinart after Notre Dame ceremoniously grew out their grass to be about a foot long to slow down the USC Trojans. The Bush push is an honorable mention. The goal line stand, people don't remember this as much. People remember the call, no call, pass interference in the Ohio State-Miami National Championship game. But if you actually fast forward, the goal line stand by Ohio State in getting off the field on four plays inside the, inside the two-yard line, that was the biggest difference in the game. They won the game, obviously, as a result of that stand. That would be an honorable mention. Drew Tate to Warren Holloway, the touchdown pass in the Capital One Bowl back in 2005, hits the seam. And he catches it to beat LSU at the buzzer. That would be in there as well. Appalachian State blocking the field goal by Corey Lynch there to secure the victory against Michigan. That would be a notable one as well. And then finally, a notable honorable mention, the kick six. I don't need to tell you a whole lot more about that one. Needless to say, get mad at Kubiak. He said my five favorite plays. I'm sorry, the kick six is not one of them. Not going to list it on there. Don't care. What I will list on there are my top five favorite plays. Okay. Number five, fourth and 12, Alabama in 2005, playing against Southern Miss. Alabama actually down 21 10 in the game with 30 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Fourth and 12. Brody Croyle throws a deep post over the top. It's perfectly covered. But Tyrone Protho reaches around the guy's back to make a catch against his shoulder pads to secure the touchdown. Fourth and 12, down 11, going into halftime at home against Southern Miss. And Protho makes that incredible play. That is number five. At number four, the Texas Longhorns against the USC Trojans in the 2006 BCS Championship. It was the 2005 season. Vince Young had had a remarkable game up to that point. Everybody and their brother knew that at the eight-yard line with 19 seconds left, Vince Young was going to run the football somewhere. Fourth and five, the national championship on the line right here. He's going for the corner. He's got it. Texas wins the national championship 41-38 in what was one of the most incredible games in the history of the college football world. Number three, incredible game that everybody remembers. Michael Crabtree, 2008, Texas against Texas Tech. This was number seven, Texas Tech hosting number one Texas in Lubbock back on November 1st. It was a late game. They reeled off 27 consecutive points, Texas did, to take the lead 33-32 with 129 remaining. Graham Harrell and Michael Crabtree took it from there. Second down now. Deep strike. Got the big man. Crabtree pulls free. And touchdown, Red Raiders with a second to go. After the win, they rose to number two in the ranking, one of the highest rankings that Texas Tech has ever had, if not the highest, one of the most incredible finishes ever there in what was a cool rivalry there in the mid-2000s. At number two, 
And this one was very, very close to being number one for me. The liberty for all. It's the way it was described. Boise State, Oklahoma, the 2007 Fiesta Bowl. It was actually not the final play. The Statue of Liberty, where they handed it to running back Ian Johnson with the left arm, and he takes it around to the front left pylon. Touched uh, two point conversions, good. They win it in regulation. But the hook and ladder, the play before, was also a thing of beauty. So it's really a two play sequence there as my number two play. This was a game and a play that changed college football forever. It showed you at that point David could beat Goliath in college football. Pretty cool to see Boise State see what they've done since that moment and continuing to beat and be that giant slayer over and over and over again against Virginia Tech and against uh, Oklahoma State and against, uh, I mean, all the teams that Boise's beaten over the years. They've done it time and time again. Arizona, you name it, Boise's probably Florida State. You name it, Boise's probably beaten them. So for the most part, man, this was the arrival for the Boise State football program and what was one of the coolest two-play sequences in college football history. And then finally, My favorite play that I can remember, because I remember it so vividly. I remember it so vividly. I was 14 years old, such an impressionable age. At that point, starting to kind of like LSU, living in Texas, thinking this LSU team's pretty cool. The Bluegrass Miracle. Now, premature Gatorade bath on the sideline, never, never going to be a good idea. All right. It was an unbelievable comeback. And Kentucky has taken the lead with just 11 seconds left, 30 to 27. Everybody in Lexington is going absolutely wild, but they celebrated just a little bit too soon. This is one of those moments where you just have to see it to believe it. You just wouldn't believe it if it hadn't been true. Fires, lets it fly. Oh my goodness! Touchdown LSU! They win the game! They win the football game! It was just sheer pandemonium there in Lexington, Kentucky to go from the highest of the highs to the lowest of the lows in about the blink of an eye. One of the coolest plays that I think I've ever seen. I mean, even the broadcast crews, if you listen to the calls, we're almost confused. Like, how the heck did that just happen? That's play number one, my favorite play in the last 22 years in the college football world.